In this example, we're going to determine the domain for this function, and we have f of x equals, and it's the square root of, and we have this x squared minus 5x plus 4 as our radicand. So if you'd like to try this first on your own, go ahead and pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work it together. All right, so remember that when we have square roots in a function, we have to make sure that this radicand, or whatever is underneath this radical, as long as the uh, root is even, so it's a square root, so it is, this radicand must always be non-negative. So we can't take the square root of a negative number, because remember that's going to be imaginary, which then cannot be graphed on a real number line. So we have our x squared minus 5x plus 4, and that must be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, well how can we solve this inequality? Well, I'm going to go ahead and factor that left side, and it'll factor as x minus 1 times x minus 4. And I'm going to set this equal to 0 to go ahead and find these critical points. So it looks like when I take each one of these factors and set it equal to 0 all by itself, and that's using that 0 property of multiplication, I'll see that x is 1 and x is 4. So those are my critical points. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and draw those on a number line. So just plot them here. So 1 and 4. And I'm going to need to grab a couple of test points. And maybe I can use x equals 0 for a test point. Maybe x equals 2 and x equals 5. Because those are x values in those regions. And then I'm going to plug them in. And I'm going to see if they come out to be true in this inequality. So let's try 0 first. So 0 minus 0 is 0, plus 4, well 4 is greater than or equal to 0, so that's a good. And x equals 2. So 2 squared is 4 minus, well 10 is negative 6 plus 4, now nah, that's going to be negative, so that won't work. Plug a 5 in, 5 squared is 25 minus 25 plus 4, so that's good as well. So we can see then that we have some regions that work and some regions that do not work. So to write this final domain then, let's go ahead and do it in interval notation. And we're saying the domain will be, looks like everything from 1 and down, so we'll say negative infinity up to 1. And remember that includes the 1 because we have the greater than or equal to. And finally, it's going to be everything starting at 4 and then going up to infinity. So we'll say union starting at 4 and going up to infinity. And once again, the infinities get parentheses. So this will be the domain of our function here. And we've written it in interval notation. So we're saying all x values from negative infinity to 1, and it includes 1, as well as all x values from 4, and it includes 4, up to positive infinity, will be in the domain of this function. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. So you saw, taking a look at the graph, that the x values being used are indeed here in this domain.